Baby, lay on back and relax. Kick your pretty feet up on my dash. No need to go nowhere fast. Let's enjoy right here where we at. All right, so today I want to show you guys how to make cold brew coffee. Um, this That was the coffee that I just used just because it was on sale. And I put one and a half cups of coffee into my Pyrex, I don't know, uh, measuring bowl, I guess. And then I filled it up with water until it was at the eight cup mark. So I'm gonna assume it was about seven cups of water that I filled in here. I'm sorry, the kids are screaming in the background. <laughs> um, okay, so you can cover it and let it sit anywhere from 8 to 24 hours. I started, or I covered it here at 9.30ish, and then I did not uncover it until 7.30 the next morning. Okay, so that is some cheesecloth in a mesh strainer, and I just cut a piece to fit. And then I just go ahead and stir the coffee one more time before straining it. And I poured it into this big, um, what is that called? Where you, like a, I don't know, drink dispenser? I got that at Walmart for like 10 bucks a year ago or something. I don't even know if they still have it. But just strain the coffee right into there and then let it drip out for a minute because it's pretty thick so it takes a minute. measure the water before putting it in there but I was kind of rushing so I totally forgot but I just about doubled the amount that was in there so I think I added about seven or eight more cups of water to what was in there because the coffee is super strong so you have to water it down a little bit so just double the amount of water. Okay so to make my coffee every morning or not every morning whenever I want coffee I just add ice to my cup, dispense the coffee into it. This was a huge cup because you're going to the lake, so I just needed a lot that day. Then I add some almond milk and some coffee flavor I'll show you. It's unsweetened, but the almond milk has a little bit of sugar in it, so it just tastes sweet enough to me. I don't really like very sweet stuff. So there's the flavoring, and I put about a quarter cup of almond milk. I don't measure anything, guys. I seriously just eyeball it, and when it's the color I like, we're good to go. Super delicious. 